Should I be doing intros? Let's ride! Hi you guys, my name's Harper Rose. I'm a stand-up comedian based in Los Angeles, California. I make YouTube videos every single day because I'm trying to have a career. <laughs> that laugh was too much and I see that now. Okay honey, so here's what it is, here's what it isn't. I think when I see a man dating the same very, very petite, very, very blonde, very, very, um, not organically tanned blonde woman repeatedly, just like the same type of, of little blonde girl. Correct me if I'm wrong, but those are also the men that don't like it when you have a fully cooter. And that to me reads G-A-Y, gay. There's just something LGBT about those men that can only date the petite little blonde girls. exact type of person over and over and over get healed look inwards because there's something there there's something there that you actually need to get privy to mm -hmm. privy okay before any of you haters come for me yeah i have one two three pimples on my face and i have pimple patches on and some smart ass is gonna write hey what's up the mustard on your face hey get alive how about that? Okay. <laughs> the songs on the radio are okay. Anyway, I had to just say that because I was just on Instagram. A normal person would see this and go, hmm, nice couple. Do, do, doodly deep. But, um, I unfortunately am not like that. It's a damn shame. Okay. Anyways, I just got off the phone with my brother. That's my guy. That's my little friend. My brother is my best friend. I love my brother so much. And not like that. We don't hook up anymore. No, we never did. Okay. My friend texted me today and he was, I thought he was trying to set me up with someone. Honk, honk, honk. That was silly. But actually he was kind of silly low key. And he was like, hey, you're single, right? And I was like, yeah. And he goes, are you trying to date anyone? And I go, what do you mean? And he's like, well, are you like open to dating? And I was like, you wouldn't be able to tell from my online presence, but I am. And then he was like, oh, okay, cool. Well, where do you meet people if you're not doing the dating apps? And I was like, I don't know, just like honestly out and about. I meet someone every single week. Now, do I act on it? No. Got a dick in my nightstand. Because sometimes they look like they're actively on heroin or sometimes I can just tell that the person on their lock screen is in fact their ex or maybe someone they're actively dating right now and i go cute i'm gonna keep it pushing <sighs> god when i didn't have standards dating was a breeze dating was so easy the second you get an ounce of self-esteem the second you go hmm hmm maybe having a summer hoedown is not actually what's best for me. Being a, a vol cell, my Reddit heads know what I'm talking about. My Discord heads know what I'm talking about. People that haven't changed their underwear in two days know what I'm talking about. Okay, what if I was dead? It's, it's so hard to date when you raise your standards and when you raise your self-esteem. When I was a low self-esteem girl, Liana, Ah, every week I was going on dates. Sweetie, now, every once in a while, <coughs> cute, but, uh-oh. Also, what's with the nagging? Good Lord, can we not just have a nice, sweet conversation? I swear to God, when people find out that I do stand-up, there's, there's, um, there's a switch that gets flipped and it goes straight to hell. And they're like, oh, you do comedy? You and I'm like, so you can just call me Harper Rose. You don't need to call me all of that. It's usually men that can't handle when I when they find out that I do stand up. And I'm just like, honey, we really don't need to be going extra. I wish Kate had, she took her lip gloss out of here. Probably because I said that there was hair on it. There was a point in time where I only dated people that looked like gender neutral vampires.
my brother really dog walked me um this was a few years back but i was dating someone who i found cute okay because that's the thing that's the thing i used to have a joke about show maybe I'll, i should bring it back actually but i used to have a joke about um showing you know showing your partner to your friend group and then like not getting it but i'm like everyone's attraction is their everyone's attraction meter is is fluctuating off of a different set of guidelines right like for instance i personally like when my when the people that i date look like little picasso paintings i like dating people that look like a melted candlestick i like dating people that look like cartoons that came to life that is fun to me i love it when people have messed up teeth and I'm not trying to be funny right now, I'm being dead serious. I think when people have a gap tooth or like an overlap tooth, oh, I think it's so cute. I think it's so, so cute. I think it's so cute. Or like a little bit of pudge. I just think it's so sweet and I and hot. And I just, that's what I'm into. I like it when you can't tell if I'm sitting next to a human being, a, a, a living human being or a gargoyle. That Rock stars have kidnapped my son. That star suddenly gained consciousness. That's what I like, sweetie. <laughs> no one's coming for me. I'm like, that's what I like. I start crying again. <laughs> Honey, I cry on every single one of these videos if you're new here. But not this one today. <laughs> my brother asked me one time, he was like, Harper Rose, hmm, do you have a visual disability? And I go, mm, that's ableist. Oh my God. Should I make that a joke? No. He really did say that though. And then um, him and my, my roommate Gabby were like, oh, <laughs> you only date people that look like salamanders. And I'm like, no. Also praying mantises. Hey guys. I like what I like. I like my little art pieces. My dating history is a museum full of collectibles. Now, my sister in Christ, Bianca, and my brother think that I date creatures of the night because they think that I don't see how beautiful I am. <laughs> that was kind of hot. Sometimes I can't tell if I have intimacy issues or if I'm fun. I get to see my brother this weekend. And I'm so excited because we haven't hung out in a million years and we're gonna go see our little cousin's ballet recital or her dance recital, whatever it is. I'm really trying to be a better family member because I used to get so sad because I'm like, oh, I feel like I'm not as close with my extended family as I want to be. But then I'm like, well, actually, you need to stop only being in LA and you need to truck it down to go see your beloveds. And that's what we're going to do. And it's going to be really sweet. And honestly, being around kids used to kind of scare me. But now I am like addicted to my cousins. Like I miss them right in this very second. I just love them so much. They're so sweet. Whoa, I actually can't. Do I, maybe I need mood stabilizers because I like literally almost just cried. Or maybe I have a big heart. <laughs> That's what everyone says before they get medicated. Ooh, 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 ooh. On all, I hope everyone's having a good day. Today, kind of okay, not mad at it. And if you're dating someone and everyone's calling them ugly, then they're goddamn haters and they have no vision. I would rather date, you know when you spill a liquid on the floor, if like you knock a glass over and it, it makes kind of an abstract shape? I would rather date that shape than like a boring NPC person. I'm sorry. Literally. Okay, at the end of the day, do you boo hoo? <laughs> anyway, um, I have a comedy taping at the Ice House that's in Pasadena, July 15th. If you're in LA, please come.